What's up, people? This is AG with a real quick tutorial for MachineMasters.com. There's been a lot of talk about how you can get uh, custom images to show up on your kits in Machine 2.0. So I want to let y'all know real quick how to do it. All right, so what I did was I went and made a, a, a template for you guys. So if you open it up, you can see all the files that's needed so that your logo or your custom uh, image will show up or appear in Machine. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari. And um, let's go ahead and go to Drum Broker. Shout out Drum Broker too, because um, we got that Knife Wonder kit already. We're going to be doing a review pretty soon on that. So make sure y'all stay tuned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this um this image right here. So I want to right click on it. Save image to downloads. Alright. And with this, I can go ahead and close out of Safari. So with this, um pull that on over. All right, so I got the image and I got the folder. And with this, you can do you can take any picture that you want from the internet or you can take any image that you have on your desktop, wherever you have images at, you can use that. The whole thing is about getting the sizes right. So I got the photo. All right, first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up this folder. All right. Now this artwork right here and this artwork right here that's going to show up the MST is going to show up inside the software the VB artwork is going to show up on inside the studio if you have one the same with the logo the MST is going to show up uh, in the software and the VB is going to show up on the studio alright so first thing we want to do is I'm going to double click on the MST artwork and all I want to do is, and this is coming up in on Mac Preview, so it's an app on Mac, and um, it comes free with it, so you can use this to do it, or if you got uh, Photoshop, any photo editing software, I'm gonna go ahead and see what the dimensions are. Okay, this one is 134 by 66, so I can go ahead and close out that 134 by 66. So I'm gonna go ahead open up this. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to change it. You got to take this little lock off. So it's 134 by 66. All right, click OK. So now it's scaled. All right, and what I want to do is, I'm going to save that. But I want to save it. Let me rename it. I want to save it to this right here. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to rename it, paste that. And you want this to be a ping, not a JPEG. So now what we want to do is export it. I'm going to export it to my desktop, but I'm going to change this to a PNG file. All right, so I'm going to save it. All right, now I want to go to my VB artwork. Open that up. Let's get the dimensions for that one. This one is 96 by 46. Okay, let me close that. Okay, now we're going to resize this one. Take this off. 96 or 46. Let's click OK. All right. Now remember, you got to rename that. We can export it. So let's export it. I'm going to copy that. Paste that because we want it to be VB artwork. I'm going to change it to a PNG. Let's save it to our desktop. 
All right. So now we can close out of that. The next, so we got our artwork. We got both of these. So we can delete this because we don't need the, the JPEG. Let's take both of them in, drag them in this folder. And then we want to replace. You can go apply to all, click replace. Okay. So now we got our artwork in the folder. The next thing we want to do is change our logos. So let's go ahead and double click on this one open it up you can use images or anything you want to use but this is where I choose to put text at so we're going to go ahead come up here to tools go down to annotate and add text alright let's just say we want to slide it over a little bit that looks about right all right, so cool. We're going to go with that. Let's just close that out. And that's going to automatically save right there. Same thing. Let's do this. Open that up. Let's go ahead and go down to annotate. Text. All right, that's good enough. And I'm just showing y'all this just for an example. Y'all can take your time and adjust the, you know, the fonts and change the colors and do all of that stuff, you know, on your own time. But we're going to go ahead and close that out. All right, so we're done with the artwork. Now the thing is what we have to do is we have to change this name to the exact name, the drum kit that we have inside a machine. So to do that, I have mine. Um, let's see where I got mine at. I got mine in my external drive. Got it here. And this is the file right here. So what I want to do is, I'm just going to copy that right there. Now I can backspace, take me back to the folder that I was at. I'm going to place the name right here. So let's go ahead and paste that. You want to keep this meta right there. That's very important. All right, save that. So that's good to go. And then the next thing you want to do is, this is the kit that we have open. So we can close that. We want to change this name. Paste that same name in there. All right, so now we're good to go. The folder is set. This is all that we need to now take this and put it inside a machine. So how you do that, for Mac, you want to go to your main hard drive, type in resources. All right, once you got resources typed in, you want to go to this folder right here, NI Resources. Double click on that. You want to go to Images. Open that up. Then drag this folder right in there. And paste it in. All right, so now we can close out of that. Now when we open up Machine, All right, now we in machine. First thing we want to do is we're going to go up to preferences, go to our library, and we want to go to user. All right, so now we want to scroll down and we're going to look for Ninth Wonder. Here it goes right here. Let's highlight that. Hit rescan. All right, once we rescan it, we can close that out. All right, now. You can go back over here to libraries, samples, we on user, open it up, and boom, there we go. That goes artwork right there. And then we click on it. This is the little um, file that we put Ninth Wonder in, so that's showing up. And then let me cut on the studio. The studio is on. Let me browse. And if you look, there go Ninth Wonder right there, and there go the... Um, the logo work right there so hopefully that'll help you out man uh, make sure you go by the site sign up if you haven't already got more free exclusive tutorials um, sample pack Saturdays beat battles you name it man we got it alright till the next video I'll holla at y'all peace